Yo, what's up guys, Jack here and today I'm bringing you some new Battlefield 1 gameplay from the Sinai Desert map. This gameplay is taken from the live stream that Battlefield just put out on Twitch and YouTube, the squads event at Gamescom, so you'll probably recognise some of the names in here. We got to see first person gameplay on the map and plenty of new things, so let's take a look. First off, horses. The animations just look incredible, jumping around, galloping naturally, very well done. Horse road kills as well, absolutely deadly. This guy actually dunked on top of a player for a horse road kill, that must have been a first. Didn't actually catch any POV saber kills, but this one here from Freecam looks pretty nasty. It seems like the horses are third person only though, unless they just never switched, and you have a rifle with a white crosshair overlaid for aiming. It does look pretty tough to hit people on those. You can always still throw grenades at the tanks from horseback though, if you want to. I couldn't be 100% sure, but I think from watching the stream, there was a maximum of five or six horses on the map, two from each deployment, and I think maybe one or two from capture points as flag assets. Also horse and rider can be killed separately from each other. We see horse hits and enemy hit indicators throughout the footage. Elite classes then, the big guys. Lars Gustafsson came on the stream at the start to talk about these and confirmed that they are battle pickups well hidden throughout the level. So you go up to the kit, pick it up and then you transform somehow into the elite class guy. The anti-tank class spawns at E, the flamer at B and the armor LMG guy spawns at F with roughly a five minute respawn delay after death in between. And they spawn in right at the start of the match too. They didn't look too overpowered from what I saw and did regenerate health. There was a few clips of the flamer class, it seems like as the flamer you could set pockets of the ground and terrain on fire for a short while, no footage of the anti-tank guy sadly, and just a brief one when Stoddy managed to pick up the LMG guy, the gun looks absolutely massive, but notice he did actually manage to enter the vehicle there and has around a thousand bullets to play with, but also he was killed from full health by the looks of it with one anti-tank grenade. During the footage of flamethrower guy though, it does seem like they can take a lot more damage than you usual soldiers do. Hit indicators have changed too, they've done away with the massive 3D hit marker that was in the alpha and now it's much more of a sensible 2D shape which changed based on damage and distance to the target by the looks of it. The map itself is just absolutely massive and looks beautiful, plenty of open ground in the middle. The E flag however is really far away from the others. Westy said on the stream that it's around 500 meters to the nearest flag so you'll definitely want to be driving or riding over there to defend it. The rest of the map had built up house areas and looked really fun to be honest plenty of infantry mixed in with vehicle combat and sniping positions on the top of the roofs the armored train next came in for the losing team of course and it featured quite a lot in the live stream and has six positions one driver and five guns by the looks of it the driver can move it up and down the track going from point to point it doesn't cover all of the points and it's kind of in the middle of the map it has cannons and machine guns on it putting out some massive firepower absolutely devastating if you play carefully with with it from what the guys at the event were telling me. It's got AA guns on it too, takes out a plane at one point in the footage. Obviously though, it can be destroyed if you focus fire on it, you can destroy it in parts and when it blows up it makes a massive explosion and remains on the map, starts bellowing out black smoke that can be used as cover if it's near enough to a point for example. Pony line in the plane here with the rocket pods. They showed this a few times on the stream and he absolutely decimated the train in a few of these matches. The rocket pods look very accurate and seem to do big damage to vehicles, but not so much to infantry on the ground. And then the sandstorm rolling in here. It starts quite small with sand and dust rolling along the floor being blown that starts eventually picking up into more of a gust. And then of course the full sandstorm rolls in from the distance and completely engulfs the whole level. It doesn't have happen every time though by the looks of it but it reduces visibility massively making sniping and flying very hard also i think it completely removed 3d spotting when it was active which is a good thing to see a short clip here of the transport vehicle with the vickers machine gun on the back having a roll around looks very fun that and then a few bits and bobs here that i picked up this weird bipod attachment thing for the sniper rifle absolutely no idea what that is and here a stick style grenade that the ottoman soldier is throwing Level cap using the MG15 suppressor near the train tracks. Very cool looking weapon that is. 
dynamite here being seen for the first time used by an assault class it looks like that you can get two in total unless he's already thrown one but it makes an absolutely massive explosion and here Tommy from Two Angry Gamers has equipped what looks like a heavy machine gun for the FT-17 light tank as a secondary and it seems that it's very effective against the infantry there and he's mopping them up with no problem at all. I didn't see any new SMGs or rifles in the footage so maybe they're just not in the beta or not in this version of the game. And then finally the club takedown here literally just looks like a piece of metal attached to a bendy wire but I suppose if it gets the job done it gets the job done. So there we have it guys that's a few new things that I picked up from the live stream. If you watched it let me know if you think I missed anything let me know down in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video a thumbs down if you didn't. As always thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.